Hi, Andrew Morrison, back with you for the Straw Bale Minute. I want to talk this week about roofing. Uh, lots of roofing choices, just like with every other part of the house, it seems. Uh, there's things like rubber, recycled rubber slate, which is a really neat product, uh, cement, fiber, um, shakes or shingles, uh, tiles, that's the word I'm looking for, um, typical composition roofing, uh, metal roofing, all kinds of different options. The thing to look for here is longevity, price, and uh, what can you do when you take the material off your roof? So think ahead, say 35 years. Let's say you got a lifespan on your roof of 45 years, uh, and it's a composition roof. What are you going to do when you get rid of that roof and you put a new one on it? So it's just going to get thrown into the landfill. So think long term about how your housing or how your roofing choices are going to affect uh, your house as you as you build it now. Uh, and then also you want to think at what's the impact of the material itself you're using today. So again, you're using rubber, uh, recycled rubber. That's a material that's already been used once. You're using it again. When you take it off the roof, you can recycle it again. It's a great choice. Now, what if you want to do rain catchment system? That may be the best choice to use a metal roof with. You certainly don't want to use an asphalt shingle roof if you're doing water catchment, even if it's just for irrigation. It's going to plug up your filters. It's going to plug up any pumps you have. It's going to fill up your tanks. It's just a mess. Metal roofing is the best choice if you're doing uh, any kind of rain catchment system. So you can't just look at roofing like everything else we talked about. You can't look at it from uh, a straight-on kind of view. You need to look at it as a holistic approach. What are you using your roof for? To keep your house dry, to gather water, uh, to reflect heat, uh, to shed snow, all kinds of different things that you're using it for. So maybe even make a list of what are the most important things for your roof to accomplish for you. Then break down from that what exactly are the choices that are left for you and go from there. Good luck. Talk to you next week.